Alright, Sunday up at the tiny house. It's uh, It's been quite a weekend. Our weekend started on Friday. About 10 hours in the truck tracking down some stuff we purchased for the tiny house. Had one of my guys come up with me, help me hang all the tongue and groove. Thanks Bob, that was very much appreciated. Giving your weekend to the tiny house. But, 8 hours in the car, we ended up getting this brush cutter right here. We mowed all the grass that you can see behind me, which is what I started with my mower. And it's about chest high, so the brush cutter did really, really well. We mowed out in the food plots and we mowed around the outside edge of the land and it really did a nice job. Couldn't have did it without it. But the point of the weekend was to get the tongue and groove up. And right now the tiny house is about 95% done. We are about 35 or 40 boards short, which we'll pick up during the week this week and put it up next weekend. But we found the tongue and groove, 140 boards at 29 cents a lineal foot, which is extremely cheap. It's not end matched. We did that ourselves. We end matched it ourselves on the saw. And it took a little time to make it right, but it looks really, really good. It's, I, you wouldn't know it's factory seconds. That's for sure. You wouldn't know that it's out, you know, stuff that they've thrown out. But it, it turned out really, really nice. I'm really happy with it. The lofts are done. The bathroom's done. The kitchen's about 90% done. The ceiling is 100% done. I have one loft left to do and some pieces in the kitchen. Just probably about three hours worth of work and we're totally done with the tongue groove, which I'm gonna try to wrap up next weekend. But next weekend I'm gonna come up and finish the kitchen and finish the last of the tongue and groove. It's not going to take very long and it'll be totally done. Um, I'm going to measure up the cabinets here as we're getting ready to leave and get all of that fit. So this video is just going to be a walkthrough of what we did. Give you a chance to kind of see how it's coming along. It's just kind of a tongue and groove update video. We're so close to being done. We're not done yet, but we're very, very close. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll do the walkthrough. And thanks for watching.
Okay, so here we are at the tiny house. We're gonna take a walk through, let you see how the tongue and groove that we did. As you can see from the outside, we have sawdust where there once was a pile of boards. So let's go take a look and see how we did. One of my guys came up to help me work and he was pretty tired. I haven't seen him for a while, so I don't know exactly where he is, but we'll see if we run into him. So there's some of the tongue and groove on the window. Oh, ah, Bob's kind of tired, I guess. Yeah, all right. So as you can see from the video, we've got a lot of this tongue and groove mostly up. There's the entire ceiling all the way up. We'll go up and take a look at the loft, which is all the way done. So you can see, the lines for the tongue and groove. It all looks good. The loft up here is totally done. There's my TV, air conditioner. The loft is 100% complete. As you can see, the ceiling continues. Now we can put our final light fixture in. But there's the three walls that have to be done. It's less than 30 boards. And the big, the big project is totally done, the ceiling. There's the V grooving I was talking about earlier. As you can see, we'll zoom in on it a little bit so you can see what that looks like when you do the end matching yourself. You end up with that really nice little V groove in there. Turned out pretty good. It makes for about three cuts per board, but in the end it was worth it. The look is worth it so there's our walls which we decided to do I was gonna leave them just the rails but I literally like the idea of closing that off to a degree so we'll come down here and we can see that the tongue and groove in the living room is still the same we didn't change any of it there's our cedar ship lap ceiling and this tongue and groove is actually different than the tongue and groove we picked up, but because it's separated, you can't tell. There's our closed in stairway. Looks pretty good. We'll go take a look at the bathroom. Looks like Bob woke up. There's the ceiling of the kitchen. As you can see the lines in there, looks pretty good. And we're coming into the bathroom. So the light is up. The ceiling's done, which was another video, but there's the walls, totally done, all the way down to the floor, there's our toilet, there's our supply shelf, and there's our shower shelf, and then our, our shower, which, let me tell you, that shower paid dividends yesterday, it was really nice being able to get in that shower after we were all done doing all this work. So as you can see it's coming along. We got some cabinets and countertops to put in next weekend. But one step closer to done. We're gonna work on our hidden doorway next weekend as well. But as you can see tongue and groove in the tiny house is we used every board we had. We have nothing left to burn up and 100% done on one side and about 30 boards left to put up on the other side. So it's coming along nicely. Go back up and see that ceiling. It looks way different in here with the tongue and groove up. It's way brighter. At night, one light lights up the whole tiny house. So again, thanks for watching. Looking forward to wrapping up next weekend.